So the first part of the review I'd like to start with, as always, is the base of the skate. Just taking a look at what steel CCM give you with these. Again, you get your stainless steel that CCM give you with these. As we know, the stainless steel holds the sharpen a lot longer than the non-stainless. Again, with these skates over here, some of the um, CCM Vector 06s will feature the um, scallop design along the top there, which is the um, blade cutouts. But uh, these ones over here don't feature that. It's just a case of what country you buy them in and where you get them from. Sometimes you'll find the blades featuring the scallop design. Sometimes they won't. But with these ones they don't. Um, but the scallop design on the blade has its advantages. It's a lot lighter than a standard blade, which is nice. But if you get a very hard puck shot or you block a um, slap shot with your skate and it hits the blade, it's very common for these scallop design blades to snap very easily, which is a disadvantage. But uh, moving on from there, taking a look at the holder. CCM have used their E-Pro holder with these skates, which also features the um, bolts over here. So if you do need to remove the blade after it's um, been worn down or if it breaks or anything like that, you can do that very quickly with these skates, which is nice to see there. From there, we're just going to take a quick look at the outer sole. CCM are using what they call a um, PVC outer sole with these skates. It's, it may look like your graphite um, full composite outer sole, but it's not. It's not as responsive as your graphite outer soles, but it does offer some good responsiveness for your intermediate skaters, moving on to the high-end skaters with the skate, but as we say, we would really recommend the skate for an intermediate skater or recreational hockey. From there, we're just going to take a quick look at the quarter package you get with these skates, if I get a bit closer there for you. If you've watched the review of the CCM uh, Vector 05s, you might have noticed I said that you get the um, nylon weave, and as you move up in models, the weave gets a lot more dense, and the sides begin to punch out a lot more, offering you a lot more support and adding a bit more responsiveness to the skate. If you take a look here, you can see that with these skates over here, the weave along the sides there does punch out a lot. It punches out pretty much double the, uh, the amount of the CCM 5s, which is really good to see on the 6s over here. As we said, that'll offer you a lot more um, responsiveness and give you a lot more support for the skate. Featured on both sides there, which is really nice to see there. And also with the CCM skates, all of the designs that you can see over here are sublimated, which means that they are actually built into the uh, nylon weave fabric, which means they won't get rubbed away or wear away really easily, which again is really nice to see there. You get a nice, well-designed, uh, durable skate here, which is good to see. Next, we're going to take a quick look at the toe cap on the CCM 6s. Over here, they've used a nice anatomical toe cap, which gives you a nice close custom fit which means that you're reducing the amount of empty space inside the skate, adding to your overall responsiveness on the ice, which is really nice to see there. From there, we're just going to take a quick look at the tongue guard you get with the CCM Vector 6s. Unlike with the 5s and 4s with the CCM range, they've not used just the um, synthetic leather material with some foam padding. They've included a nice lace bite bar there, which helps, helps to fend off that lace bite completely, which is really good to see there as well as adding additional foam padding around the sides and in the centre there just to make this skate a bit more comfortable for you, which is great. On the inside there, again, they've still used the um, standard uh, two-piece black felt liner on the inside of the tongue guard, which is nice, nice to see there. As we said, this tongue guard does have a lace bar bar, so you can see that it is really, really stiff there. It does still offer you a full range of motion, but completely protects you from those um, straight puck shots as well as the uh, lace bite, which is nice to see there. If I just open the skate up, take the footbed out, Taking a quick look over here, CCM have used, again, the standard uh, microfiber liner inside there, which wicks away any moisture, which is good to see there. These are indeed a, a skate that can be baked, which is nice to see. From there, I'm just going to take a quick look at the uh, footbed that CCM give you these skates. Again, it's their anatomical responsive footbed, but you can see that it features a much, much deeper cup than the um, CCM 05s, which is good to see there. These footbeds are incredibly responsive, they're nice and thin, giving you a good feel and also putting your heel in the correct position there. As you can see, the heel cup's very cupped, nice and deep, letting your heel sit inside that skate, minimising the movement, as you can see how deep that is over there. Your heel gets locked inside there, it doesn't move around, giving you excellent responsiveness on the ice and also improving your overall energy transfer, which is nice to see there. I just wanted to do a quick comparison of the two different footbeds that you get with the CCM 5s and the CCM 6s. The one on my right hand side over here is from the 6s, the one on my left is from the 5s. Just taking a quick look over there, they both do feature the brush nylon liner, but this one over here has been tightly weaved, which just keeps your feet fixed to the base of the skate, regardless of if you've got socks or if you're barefooted inside the skates, which reduces overall movement and gives you excellent responsiveness on the ice. And also if you just take a look at how 
how cupped they are. If I turn that to the side, you might be able to see it a little bit better. You can see with the um, CCM6's uh, footbed, it's been cupped a lot more, which puts your heel in a nice position inside there, keeping it fixed to the base of the skate, reduces any movement, which again adds to the overall responsiveness of the skate, which is really nice to see there. So that's just been a quick look at the CCM Sixes from HockeyTutorial.com. For more information about this skate, visit us at HockeyTutorial, and to pick up a pair of these skates, visit www.skateattack.com.